Now in part 1 here we've got to integrate the natural log of x over 2 with respect to x. And one way that we can do this is by parts. It doesn't look like we've got a product of two functions here, but what we do is we introduce a 1. 1 times the natural log of x over 2 integrated with respect to x. Now if you're not familiar with parts then what I've got is the formula down here for you. And what we've got to do is nominate one of these parts to be the u and the other part to be the dv dx. Now when you're doing natural log types what we do is we always nominate the natural log to be the u part. So this will be the u and the 1 will be the dv dx. So I'll just write that in there as a reminder. With practice though, you might be able to do this without writing this in. So using the formula then, down here, we've got that the integral of this is equal to u times v. So u is the natural log of x over 2. And when you do this, make sure you put everything in brackets, okay? Otherwise you could end up with ambiguous statements. So we've got that in brackets and it's multiplied by v. v being the integral of dv dx with respect to x. So integrating 1 with respect to x gives x. So I'll put that like that. Then it's minus the integral of v. Now v was this value here, so just pop that in there. Again, make sure you have things in brackets. Multiplied now by du dx. Now we have to differentiate the natural log of x over 2. And to differentiate this, you would need to use the chain rule. By that we would have if I was to nominate this x over 2 as t, I would have to differentiate the natural log of t, which would be 1 over t. So that would be 1 over my t value, which is x over 2. Put that in brackets. And then I multiply it by the differential of what I nominated t to be. That was x over 2, a half x. If I differentiate a half x, I get a half. So, these two brackets are the result then of differentiating the natural log of x over 2. I've got to clean this up, which I'll do in a minute. Then we have the dx on the end. So yes, we need to clean this up. So, how could I clean this up? Well, I notice that these two 2's cancel. So, we have that there. Some of you most might have written this 2 up the top here, 2 over x, it would still cancel with the half to leave me with essentially 1 over x here. You'll also notice that this x cancels with the x down here. x over one, times 1 over x is just going to cancel and leave me with 1. So writing this out again, we have, well, this term here, it's better if I write the x at the front here, x, I can drop the brackets now, natural log of x over 2, minus, and as I said earlier, this cleans up to just be simply 1, so this is minus the integral of 1 with respect to x. We can now integrate that 1 with respect to x, which is simply x and don't forget the constant of integration, plus c. So, there you go. That is the answer to the integral, and that brings us now to the end of part one.